Welcome to our channel Around the World with Dua Mumtaz. Today we are going to visit a place named Gulf Quest and Amp, National Maritime Museum, in Mobile City, Alabama State, United States of America. If you like our informative video, please click the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you will receive timely notification whenever we uploaded new videos. Let's get started. Gulf Quest slash National Maritime Museum of the Gulf of Mexico opened on September 26, 2015, is a non-profit interactive maritime museum dedicated to the maritime heritage and culture of the Gulf of Mexico. The 120,000 square foot museum, located on the riverfront in downtown Mobile, Alabama, is designed to look as if it were a ship headed into Mobile Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. The museum features 90 interactive exhibits, simulators, theaters and artifact displays, complemented by artifacts and memorabilia displayed throughout multiple decks inside a full-sized replica of a container ship, displayed as if dockside. Gulf Quest also features a museum store, a museum cafe and several event spaces. Named Attraction of the Year for 2016 by the Alabama Department of Tourism, Gulf Quest is the only fully interactive maritime museum in the world and the only maritime museum dedicated to the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf Quest presents the history, culture, marine science and maritime traditions of the Gulf of Mexico region for visitors of all ages. During the 1990s, City of Mobile and Alabama state leaders formed a nonprofit organization to create a maritime museum to serve as an educational resource for the region and the nation. During the planning portion, then-current Mobile Mayor Mike Dow campaigned for the museum to be the centerpiece of Mobile Landing, a downtown waterfront development meant to restore public access to the Mobile waterfront. Mobile Landing would eventually become home to the Alabama Cruise Terminal, the Arthur C. Outlaw Convention Center, and Cooper Riverside Park. The construction of Gulf Quest began during Sam Jones's tenure as Mobile's mayor. Construction ran from 2010 through 2015 with installation of the museum's exhibits completed in the summer of 2015. The museum closed temporarily to the general public in November 2016. The decision to close the museum was made by Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson, who wanted the nonprofit board to assume an advisory role, rather than direct management of the museum. With staffing provided by the city, Gulf Quest reopened in February 2017. Gulf Quest is a 120,000 square foot building designed to look as if it were a ship leaving port headed into Mobile Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Because the technology behind container ships originated in Mobile, Alabama, and had a dramatic impact on the shipping and maritime industry, Gulf Quest's board of directors decided to put a full-sized replica of a container ship inside the museum to house most of the museum's 90 exhibits. The replica, dubbed the SS McLean, surrounded by water and made to look like it's floating, has interior walkways resembling those on large ships with the museum's seagoing slang displayed throughout each level. The heart of the museum is a full-sized replica of a container ship named the SS McLean, commemorating Malcolm McLean and Mobile, Alabama's role in the early development of containerization, a revolutionary system that minimized cargo handling and shipping costs. In 1955, Malcolm McLean, a trucking entrepreneur from North Carolina, acquired Waterman Steamship Corporation, a mobile-based firm, to test his idea of shipping cargo in large containers that could be moved fully loaded from land to sea, and from sea to land. On April 26, 1956, the world's first container ship, Ideal X, made its maiden voyage from New Jersey to Houston with 58 containers on board. McLean's plan reduced the cost of loading and discharging cargo from $5.83 a ton to only 15.8 cents a ton. McLean's first three container ships were spar deck tankers, capable of carrying containers topside only. A panoramic pilot simulator identical to those used to train professional boat pilots. Visitors choose a vessel and try their way in navigating through the Gulf and into Mobile's port. The images displayed in this simulator are designed to represent real locations along the Port of Mobile. An interactive game where visitors take on leadership roles to help restore the delicate balance of the Gulf of Mexico through environmental and economic choices while facing realistic disasters. Gulf Quest Science on a Sphere, a six-foot diameter planet Earth suspended in midair showing three-dimensional visualizations of Earth, 
hurricanes, global shipping traffic, and much more. Located on the rampways on either side of the container ship are common sayings with maritime origins highlighted on individual panels. Sayings like all in a day's work, clean bill of health, cup of joe, out of the blue, lay of the land and more are defined and their maritime origins revealed. Gulf Quest provides the city of Mobile's only waterfront dining experience with the museum's nautical-themed restaurant, The Galley. The Gulf Quest exhibit ship tracker is located inside the galley which allows visitors to continue to enjoy the museum experience while dining. Ship tracker allows visitors to view in real time the shipping activity in Gulf ports including the ships passing by outside on the Mobile River. Museum admission is not required to dine in the galley. Treasures, Gulf Quest Museum Store, is designed to resemble a sunken Spanish galleon. Fractured hulls of the store reveal the diverse marine life in the Gulf of Mexico with shelves created from the ribs of the vessel filled with Gulf Quest souvenirs. Museum admission is not required to visit treasures. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you on our next video and will explore a new place of Mobile City, Alabama, United States.